Search for information about Elizabeth. Three hundred and fifty-five thousand five hundred and ten days out of the day for your meeting with Mr. Farrell. Please proceed to the thirty-fifth floor. Wait, wait, wait. Is that literally a thousand years ago? Fifty thousand. That's hundreds of years ago. What's That's like a thousand, on? isn't it? I guess within the realm of like DNA matching, 99.47 is like considered a match, I guess. Now, this is where we're going to find some weird information. This is going to be bizarre. Now, is this... This is not just a regular bunker like we've seen in the past. We've seen two of them. This is... This is different. We haven't seen anything locked behind that type of wall. Hello. What do we got here? Entangled waveforms. The protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms. Quantum encryption, black court stuff, way beyond military grade. That's what you demanded. So that's what we delivered. You don't code something you can't crack. All we need is a backdoor. Upload the latest service pack update and the problem goes away. You specifically forbade us from leaving anything resembling a backdoor in code. Every protocol to Black Court standard. Your words. Look, if you need me to fudge some projections, it's nothing we haven't done before. I don't need fudged projections. I need a way to reassert control over the Hearts Timor Swarm. Hearts Timor to Swarm? You, You're asking the impossible. So, codes. They needed codes of some kind to control the machines. But they got out of control. Slightly. Sounds bad. Ted Farrow's office. Now, we have seen... We saw mention of Ted Farrow... Before, did we not? Um, I think we saw something of Pharaoh before. I want to say maybe it was from that vantage, but I could be I could be wrong. It might not have been. Where is that from here? Look how many levels there are. Twelve different levels. Whoa. Look at this. Okay. This is probably where everything was started, I guess. If I had to guess, that would be it. But some type of lab. Faro. Oh, that's where we've seen it. We've seen this name on the systems before. So he's like the guy. A Deathbringer. Or a statue of one, anyway. Yeah, lovely. A machine built to kill. And they honored it? Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, 
Faro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Faro Focus, huh. to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping robots halting bloodshed in conflict zones across the globe, Faro remains committed to making the future smarter, brighter, safer, and always surprising. Nailed Faro a couple of those. Solutions. For every problem of life, a smart solution. So they made the focus. 25,000 people? That's bigger than a tribe. <laughs> so they made machines and devices. I guess those things were common in their world. So consumer device, meaning everybody had a focus, kind of like a cell phone almost. Standard holographic projection device embedded in molded plastic pedestal. There's also reception log. Okay, July 7th, 2064, 9.54 a.m. Field Commandant Dying of the Indo-Malay Agricultural Combine arrived with his delegation. Refreshments to be served before their 10.15 a.m. sales presentation on the chariot line. Per instructions, food will be vegetarian only. Uh, 10.07, Sander Agnew, Vice President of Territorial Integrity from Fresh Grounds Coffee Global, arrived with his entourage. Refreshments to be served before their 10.30 a.m. sales presentation at the chariot line. Line. Per instructions, we'll use Fresh Grounds Tacoma Blend, no artificial creamers. Uh, so that happened. Called security and janitorial to clean up the coffee that was spilled. Actually, more like thrown. I wasn't aware that the Indo-Malay Combine grows coffee beans and that the Fresh Grounds acquisition team has tried to take their fields by force repeatedly. I think Commandant Dying had Agnew by the hair for a second there. Who schedules these things? I'm going to drop a line to sales. This can't happen again. There's a couple of different highly competitive companies. Overlapping. Get into a bit of a spat. Now the What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. So we've got the history of FAS and then two biographies. Welcome to F... Oh, this is the one that we just saw. Okay, Elizabeth Sobeck. Born March 11th, 2020, is an American scientist, roboticist, and engineer. Widely regarded as one of the greatest minds of the 21st century. Born and raised outside Carson City, Nevada. She enrolled at Stanford University at 13. Whoa. Earning a BS in experimental physics and computer science at 16. She completed her PhD in robotics and artificial intelligence design at Carnegie Mellon University in 2040. And joined FAS as a junior scientist in the same year. Rising quickly to chief scientist at the age of 22. Over the next eight years, her green robot designs played a vital role in realizing the environmental cleanup and detoxification efforts of the clawback decade, propelling FAS to the forefront in its field. In 2048, she suddenly resigned from FAS, protesting the company's pivot to automated military technologies. In 2049, she founded Miriam Technologies. I think we've seen a cup or something with that on it. A firm devoted to life-positive robotics and other suppliers of green robots. Winning numerous awards and accolades, including the 2053 Nobel Prize for Physics and the 2056 Rachel Carson Award for Environmental Progress. Okay, so what started as like this consumer-based company turned into military applications. She didn't like that. Ted Farrow. Theodore Ted Farrow, born December 24th, 2013, is an American entrepreneur and business magnate. He's the founder of Farrow Automated Solutions, the largest corporation of all time and the world's wealthiest individual and the first ever trillionaire. Born and raised in Salt Lake City, Utah, he enrolled at the University of California, Los Angeles, where he studied business for two years before dropping out in 2033 to start FAS. Though it struggled at first, the company broke through at the end of the troubled 2030s when it, with its popular lines of personal servitors and bodyguard bots, then exploded when its famous line of green robots led the race to solve the climate crisis. Wow, during the 2040s. Clawback at the end of the... Oh, uh, that's the climate crisis called Clawback. And the green robots um, developed by Elizabeth. 
At the end of the decade, FAS opened a military defense branch, dominating the world market for automated military platforms by 2053. The success of FAS has made Mr. Farrow the world's best-known businessman, one of his most sought-after speakers, and a major voice in politics, culture, and international affairs. History of FAS. Um, FAS is an American multinational corporate entity that produces robots for all walks of life, though its core business consists of military and defense contracts now or at that time. As of 2063, has ranked number one among the Fortune 500 by gross revenue and profit for 10 years in a row, a world record. Founded in 2033 by Theodore Ted Farrow, an entrepreneur from Salt Lake City, Utah, the company developed several promising robot prototypes in its early years, but failed to break into markets dominated by then industry giants like General Synthetics and RE, RE Corp, or Rec Corp. This changed in 2038 with the debut of the Alfred line by of levitating personal servitors, which generated exceptional sales. That's interesting how you write Alfred. Smart. Lifting the company into the Fortune 50 for the first time. Profits tripled in the 2040s as the company's environmental efforts, led by the famed engineer Elizabeth Sobeck, catapulted FAS to the head of that sector. In 2049, in the wake of successful green and climate cleanup efforts around the globe, worldwide approval ratings of FAS exceeded 90%, and founder Ted Farrell was hailed across media and social networks as the man who saved the world. Yet it was the emergence of FAS as a military contractor in the late 2040s that cemented its status as the world's wealthiest corporation, with a record market capitalization of over $23 trillion. By 2055, FAS controlled 61% of the market share for automated military platforms, holding contracts with 353 nations, transgovernmental organizations, and corporate entities. Today, its holdings exceed the second largest corporation, FB Mobile Hall Global, by 321%. So it's like not even close. Corporation. Okay, we have to define this. I guess that makes sense. Uh, an association of individuals created under authority of law, having existence, powers, and liabilities distinct from those of its members. In a business sense, a corporation is usually owned by shareholders, though the sale or through the sale of distrib or distribution of stock, who profit from such ownership, vote at design times for its governance and design and designate executives who run its affairs. Most corporations engage in one or more industries to produce goods or offer services for profit and may in turn own other corporations, companies, or property as holdings. And lastly, oh, this is a reception log. Okay. Do we have everything cleared out in here? Yes. Let's keep going. R&D lab retooling from Ted Farrow. Now I know this must seem like a bizarre change in direction. I mean, we're Farrow Automated Solutions, right? Number one robotics firm in the world. Why would we clear our production slate to fabricate human-operated vehicles and weapon systems, the relics of the past? All I can say at this juncture is... Trust me. We will be exploiting a massive... Uh growth opportunity by retooling uh, and reallocating capacity according to my plan. So I will need revised projections of mass fabrication velocity across every pipeline within 36 hours. So they were making machines, then they stopped to make other kinds of weapons? Like man-controlled, he was saying? Probably to deal with the machines that got out of hand, maybe? Not even old death. Nothing natural. Not even old death. You know, regular, regular smells. Jay Friedkin complaint, text mail. To reception. Hey, reception is, if that is your real name, want to know what's scheduled Indo-Malay right 
Want to know who scheduled Indo Malay right next to Fresh Grounds? That would be me, Senior VP of Sales. Want to know why? After that little hair pulling incident, both sides increased their bids by 40%. I'll explain. Because your receptionist level brain probably requires it. Those two sides are fighting, and what do we sell? That's right, combat machines. We want them to hate each other, so they will try to fight each other with what? That's right again, combat machines, which they will pay a lot of money for. So I suggest you go back to serving coffee with a blank smile, and let me do my much more complicated job. That's funny. That's uh, a reply to the complaint that the receptionist made from earlier. Another cave in. But I could get through. Holy... Are you kidding? We have the ladder. I bet I can use that as a ramp to get back up. Oh, we can activate this? Wait, did we not... Wait, this is back... Welcome to Feral Automated Solutions. Oh, that's Where just all the for the of tomorrow I are see. being solved today. I see. Looks like I can climb here. We actually need to be on the other side. Subtle. Um... Oh, I see. It's actually not what we want to do. checking all these floors, man. There's no way that we're skipping over anything in here. FAS Boar 7 Horus? What are these? Scarab combines conventional and information warfare capabilities in one package. Designed for high-speed, all-terrain reconnaissance, it boasts the world's highest survivability rating of any Scout-class autonomous agent. Maybe it's the Scarab's emergency biomass conversion systems that ensure it always makes it back to base, even if fuel supply lines have been interdicted. Or maybe it's the Scarab's ability to slave enemy robots to its own network. Now that's hmm. force multiplication. Add a prehensile manipulator arm that can handle a host of functions. From 360 degree less lethal riot management to surgical repairs of allied chariot line models. And you've got the workhorse of any cutting edge peacekeeping fleet. So imagine this. The entire world is at war. Because everybody has access to these crazy machines developed by this company that's selling to everybody. How do you think the world ends? Well... The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening, allowing you to field any weapon package that conforms to your budget needs and conflict resolution profile. Patented biomass conversion systems allow extended emergency operations with minimal environmental impact. Multilinear target processing provides simultaneous real-time threat analysis and legal review for autonomous domestic operations. And legal or review. Control can be slaved to the swarm's neural network for weapons-free force application. Either way, 
When it's time to call out the big guns, it's time to call Kopesh. I like how he even sounds like a sales guy. The BOR7 Hor the BOR7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high-speed learning machine network. Whether your need is to replace battlefield losses or intensify force projection, the Horus's onboard manufacturing capabilities mean you'll never get stuck waiting for the next arms delivery. Simply redefine your force parameters, and the Horus will fabricate additional units Jeez. to fill the ranks for an affordable per-unit licensing fee. <laughs> Meanwhile, the biomass conversion systems out. of other chariot line models allow them to keep the Horus fueled, repaired, and ready, extending its operational tolerances beyond that of any competing Titan-class platform. That's the Horus advantage. Always regulating, always ready. The future of automated warfare made real today. Everything became autonomous. These machines were self-sustaining, and then at some point they're going to realize, well, we don't need frickin' humans. fits-all solution to main oh, battle I see. force okay. capability. Metamaterial construction delivers unmatched recoil dampening. Somehow. Allowing you to field any weapon package oh, that, that conforms weird. to your budget needs and comp. These are the exact same things that we just saw, but in hologram form. And they looked like they were below us previously, but. The BOR-7 Horus. Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by I'm trying to see if we recognize any of these visuals. The ACA3 scarab combines conventional that is and kind of like the corruptor capabilities in one package designed for hot The others I'm less sure about but that's definitely a corruptor The BOR7 Horus Imagine your complete engagement ecosystem comprehensively managed by a high speed learning machine I'm network. not sure about that one The FSP-5 Kopesh provides a one-size-fits-all solution to main battle force capability. And I'm not Meta sure what that one is either. Delivered. Okay. I wish we would have saw those first, but that's fine. Full already. <laughs> already. Funny. Spiritual Summit. Mail from Ted Farrow. To Paula. Recent events have sharpened my perspective, and I think that I and FAS in general have been neglecting the spiritual side of things. Not under any specific religious framework, of course, but in a more general sense. Is it not giving enough thought to our shared values, hopes, and aspirations for the afterlife? I'd like you to reach out to religious leaders of every stripe with the intention of scheduling a conference soon. Very soon. I'll have more thoughts about the agenda later, but for now, let's put out some feelers and see if we can lock something in. Make it a big tent. No cook, no kooks, but anyone with a credible audience. Let's go deluxe. Make it clear we'll spare no expense. Why is he doing this? He's obviously... He's... He knows something's happening. He's asking people to, like, trust him. Which is obviously ridiculous. FAS campus log. High priority alert. All non-essential systems have entered hibernation. High priority alert. Full lockdown has been initiated. High priority alert. Due to the increasing frequency of violent protests targeting the campus, the security of FAS employees can no longer be guaranteed. Therefore, we've taken the difficult decision to shutter this facility indefinitely. Staff will be briefed on a block-by-block -block basis regarding proper procedure for archiving and or disposal of project-related data and materials. HiSec and a crisis team will then conduct exit review for all areas are locked down. Priority messaging to all staff in E and F blocks. Treat the current lockdown situation as an exercise, but do not attempt to release the hatches or otherwise exit the building. 
reminded that while high sec security personnel committed to employee safety during the current unfortunate events, personal firearms must be relinquished when presenting for identiscan. Additional public records, or sorry, additional public access roads on route to the campus have now been closed to relieve waiting time at the outer security cordons. HiSec reminds all staff that the campus remains off limits to the public. Following recent campus security issues, all staff are reminded that presenting for identiscan and displaying your security badge prominently at all times for image and analytics are both mandatory. In light of recent acts of terrorism directed at the rapid transit system, HiSec now offers a Big Brother initiative to accompany safe traveling from off-site. Signups required and strongly encouraged. Uh-oh. So people were angry at Faro, at the corporation. Obviously. They blamed this place for something. Something bad. Maybe the huge amounts of military machines they were creating like the way up. and destroying the entire Let's world? <laughs> that would be my guess. <laughs> Gonna be a long Whoa. way up. Frozen metal most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sobek. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. I guess, but when I have to compare myself to plants, is that the best? Hold on, what's going on in here first? Wait, that's taking me the right way as well. Oh, are you... are you... That's unfortunate. So both of these take us up. Oh, I thought that might have been the end. Is this taking us to the same place? I think it is. Wait, something's going on back here. There's something around us. Oh, maybe in the office. Hold on. What are we missing here? Oh, right here. Regarding the rumors. Since the began when they engaged in unauthorized offensive operations against robots and human personnel of the Hearts Team or Energy Combine. Now I wish that I could relate that the crisis has been exaggerated, but it's not. 
The peacekeepers have not responded to stand down coats, and by all signs, they appear to be replicating at a <laughs> precipitous rate. The, the machine is taking over. I can absolutely assure you is that I am already devoting every possible resource towards reaching a speedy conclusion to this issue. So when you hear the bad talk about us against this company in the days, maybe weeks to come, just bear in mind that we will get past this. That a day's coming when none of this will matter. Peacekeepers. That's what they called their machines. They were built for war, not peace. You got that right. You. Okay, so we can grab onto one of those bottom things, I guess. on deck text mail from Gord Gordon Nakata to who to Gina Zierman ever hear of the Melville Island Fruit Association neither had I until they filed suit against us this morning apparently there's a little island paradise off the coast of Australia population 2700 all of whom hate us now that a stray heart Timor unit is chowing down in the largest mango orchard that brings the official count of Heart Timor related lawsuits to 127, most of them from private companies, but also a bunch from individuals, nation states, and NGOs. And that's not even counting the mother of all liability claims from Hearts itself. Call every external firm we've ever used, then call their competitors. We're going to need every corporate defense lawyer we can find who's still half sober and on the bar. Things are going to shit around here. And we're witnessing that now in the future. Checking out what's up at the top of this climb. And then we'll go to his office. Oh, shit. Hold on. Whoa! Oh, cool. It's never happened. Okay, so it's just different ways to get there, I guess. This will take us by outside. But my gut tells me we end up in the same place. Or do we?
Holy crap. It's the exact same place. Cool. Banda C incident. From Stacy Anders to Robert Desher Dolphin Vid. Another problem to add to our big steaming pile. Apparently a fisherman in the Banda C captured video of a Heart Timor Horus unit refueling via via biomatter conversion. You know what that sounds like. Along the shoreline of Pulau Wetar on a pod of endangered dolphins, no less. Quite possibly the last of their kind. Not to get graphic, but it looks like what happens inside a blender is if the robot was whipping up a big pink swirling milkshake of dolphin chum. Our suppression team has scrubbed it from 43 networks, but it's still propagating, so it's only a matter of time before it goes vir viral. A prepared statement feels grossly insufficient. Any suggestions? This one's a real stinker. <laughs> It's interesting to see, like, this slow downfall. The way up. All it takes is a few good handholds. This guy's made office. Made it. Wonder what we'll find. Search his office for information about Dr. Sobek. Look at this. We're like literally above the clouds. All data has been erased from this Whoa. device. Do you wish to deploy our privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. Six percent power remaining. A file has been recovered. Scan the data point. Oh. 